Hi, it's Karen here back at Karen Codes and we're on video two of our memory game in Java GUI. And so far when I hit run, all we get is an empty window. It does have our icon that we set in the game frame class and it also has the title that we set, which is fantastic, but we want it to display the, the JPanel class, but we need to create it first. But before we do that, um, I've only got the logo in, imported so far. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go into my Google Drive. And yes, I am using this screen recorder to do the video. Okay, I'm going to just select the images that I want to use. And for now, I'm just going to use one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm just going to use eight for now just to be less confusing. And then I want a card back, so I need nine. So I'm gonna take those and I'm going to download from Google Drive. And again, you can, you can get your images from wherever you want. You can use pictures that you've taken of people or places or things, it doesn't really matter. And for this, it's just kind of an illustration, but I'm gonna, my, my images, I've already like resized them to how I want them to kind of fit in the, the game. And so that's why I am downloading them. But now I'm going to go back into Eclipse. And if I go to Downloads, I have quite a few in there. Those are some images from different projects I've worked on. And it'll take a minute because it's probably still downloading. Let's see. Oh, nope. It, it's done. Perfect. Okay. And let's see where it is in this folder. I am not seeing it for some reason. Do, 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 do. Okay. Let me find it and copy and paste it into Eclipse and I will get back with you. Okay, I found where they were hiding. They just had a weird name and I'm just copying. Control C also works. And then let's get into Eclipse and we're gonna paste it in our images right there. Perfect. So now we get to move on to the fun part. Okay, so we're gonna make a new class and we're gonna call it the card class and we're going to say finish perfect and inside the card class we need a few things and we'll open the the hey our our document to just re reference what those things are that we're doing so in the card we need a card back that's of type image icon so let's add that And these are our fields. So let me just make a note of that. Fields, image, icon, and it's the card back. And then we're going to have image, icon, and it's going to be an array. And it's going to contain the card fronts. And I'm just calling it cards for now. And then, let's see. But in order for that, I'm trying to think how I want to do this. I may change that in a second, but okay. So then we're going to have a constructor that makes our cards and it's going to be public card and it doesn't return anything because it's just a constructor. Okay. And then it's going to take the card back and the cards. I'm not sure if it's going to take both yet. Yeah, I haven't decided. So, we're just going to do that for now. And then coming back here, we're going to have a string of pictures, a string array of pictures. Okay, so let me explain that. An array is just an efficient way of storing, of storing multiple items in one uh, location. It's kind of like if you went trick-or-treating, you could, or you were selling things door-to-door, you could reach a lot more 
uh, people faster if you go to an apartment complex than if you go to like houses that are spread out all over like farms. So that's just kind of what an array is like. It's just a quick and easy, convenient place to put everything. And so they are found more quickly by the program as well. But the string array only takes um, path, path, file path names. And since we already used a file path name in this program, rather than recreating the will, we are going to copy and paste this string path into our string array. And then we'll just change up the name for each individual picture. So I'm going to set that equal to la, la, la. and I'm going to start pasting in images. And ours have KC logo is just my little KC logo, but um, I just have to go through and make sure the extensions match the file names because if I don't, I will get a lovely exception called a null pointer exception. That means it can't find the picture because there's nothing by that name. So I will go through and add in all my file names and you can do the same. And then um, we'll start up in the next video by actually seeing what these cards look like. So thanks for watching and we'll move on to seeing the cards in our next video.